Yep, all good. Right. This morning we've got a brown in B525. So somebody asked me to do an unboxing, an opening, a review. If I put the box over there, Paul, yep. can you just tell me? Because the last couple that we've done didn't focus in very well. Yeah, that's definitely focused in. Yep. 525 Sport of One, left hander. Yeah. Yeah, Vector Plus. I would have liked to have done a right-handed one, Paul, but this is this is the one that came out of the box, so this is the one we're going to do. So this one has this one has been opened from the factory, but I will show you what's in the box. And if you could come over, Paul, and just show people, would you? Yeah, we'll do that now. Yeah. The camera. Sorry, mate. So that is how it comes from Japan basically. What you got in it, Paul, you got a proof certificate from the Liege proof house. I would have liked to have seen it written in English basically. I assume that's either in French or Belgium. It doesn't mean a lot, Paul, but it does tell you what the board dimensions are. It tells you what the chamber lengths are. It tells you what it's pressure tested to and it tells you what the weight of the barrels are. Um, that's just one little bit. You get a trigger lock with them from the factory. It's a very, very good idea. We'll make the gun safe. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more chokes, but safety locks are good. And as with the other videos and with, with everything you get new, you really should be reading the instruction book, shouldn't you? You should. Yes. <laughs> and I think, Paul, oh, there's going to be two more chokes in here. Two more chokes in, which will be three quarters and full, I would assume. You've got a choke key, chokes. You've got a automatic safety sear bar, bent, whatever you want to call it. And you've got a Allen key to adjust the trigger. Let's get the gun out of the box. Let's get the gun out of the box. Yeah, put it back. Yep. Cheers, Paul. Thank you. Mm. So, as I said with the other ones, be careful of where you put everything down so you don't drop it and break it. And as you put it together, be careful. Now, as a few people can tell, the Brownings are my favourite gun. I enjoy them, I like them. This one, the 525, I measured it this morning at the comb here. We've got about two and a quarter inches of drop right in the back of the heel here. It's two and a half inches of drop. This is a left-handed gun. Nowadays, Beretta Browning are not putting too much cast on the gun. So whether it's right or left-handed, a... An individual could get on with both of them, but obviously left-handers do like left-handers, right-handers do like right-handers. It's not got a lot of cast on it. The overall length of the pull is 14 and 3 quarter inches. And with this new influx recoil pad that Brown and are doing, you can take the gun down to about 14 and a quarter, and you can take it up to about 15 inch length of pull overall which is uh, a good feature for people that want to do adjusting themselves uh, or people that want to shoot all year round in coats, t-shirts, shirt sleeves, stuff like that, winter, summer. You've got what I said in some of the other videos, you've got a, an anatomical thin bladed trigger on this one and you've got three positions. You've got forwards, if you've got uh, longer fingers, you've got in the centre where I think feels quite nice. And then you've got all the way back if you've got slightly smaller hands. The pistol grip that is on this gun, I'll hold it up there. The pistol grip that's on this gun, the radius of the curve isn't too steep, basically. Some of the Italian guns, it comes down quite abruptly, basically. I do enjoy this slightly more, I like the feel of the slightly more swept back style. You've got... A nice snarble forend on here, finished off very nicely. You have got a slimish, 
it's not a trap style fore end as people can see, a slimish fore end on it. Now, what is very, very nice with the Brownings is they're still shot proofed from the factory, whether it be Belgium or Japan, but they're still shot proofed. So you can put three inch steel in them basically, if you're gonna go wild fouling, you can put uh, the two and three quarter inch steel in them, 24 gram, 28 gram, if you're gonna go clay pigeon shooting, should you so wish. You've got, which I personally do think looks very, very nice. Browning have changed the style of the engraving ever so slightly, made it a little bit more scroll, and what's that look like on the side of there? Oak leaves, maybe. If you could, in a minute, Paul, bring yeah. that over. Uh, yeah, bring it over. Yeah, right. While you're talking, I'm, we'll have a little look. And while you're showing that, I'll have a sup, <laughs> sip of my tea. <laughs> oh, it's getting cold now. So, um, can you see that engraving yeah. coming out on there? Bearing in mind, Paul, that that is machine done. Um, that is machine done, and that's my mate trying to say hello. <laughs> I will roll it over underneath here, Paul. So you've got the fact that it's yeah. a B525. Does that say Sporting Sporter, on it? Sporter, yeah. Yeah, that's what you're looking for. Sporter, uh, Sporter 1, basically. The gun itself, very well finished. The checkering is nicely done. The finish on the woodwork is quite hard wearing, to be honest with you for the price point of the gun now nice ventilated ribs on it paul nice wide top rib on it oh dearie me i should have done some i should have done some re uh, not research what's the word i should have done some rehearsal on this paul <laughs> but that's not me no so we've got double beads center bead and a front bead the reason that you've got double beads on guns, Paul, is for trap shooting. When you're trap shooting, you pre-mount the gun, and when you are when you're very very focused and you're holding on to the gun quite hard, the opportunity or the chance to cant the gun in your shoulder. Do you know what cant means when yeah. you roll it over? Yeah. And that is why the double beads are there, so you don't roll the gun over in your shoulder. But that's a story for another day. You've got a nice sporting top rib on this one, Paul. It's not too wide. It's probably about 10 or 11 mil. It's parallel top rib. In this gun, Paul, you've got Invector Plus chokes, which are about two and a half inches long. And they've been the mainstay of Brown in for the last... 20 years probably if it works why change it yeah now this gun here paul is set up to shoot sporting clays here put it back down there mate thank you this gun is set up to shoot sporting clays unfortunately if you can't shoot this gun particularly well or it doesn't fit you straight out the box go and play golf because this gun is set up for Mr. Average uh, to shoot it very, very well. I'm just giving a little wipe off of some of the preservative grease from the factory. We've got about a minute left. Oh, that gone that quickly. That's gone quick, yeah. Bloody hell. So, overall, nicely finished. Nice piece of wood on it. Influx recoil pad. Steel shot proofed. Invector Plus chokes. And I believe these come with a three-year warranty from the factory and they come with a 10-year action warranty. You won't use a 10-year action warranty. If you use a three-year warranty, it may only be for the firing pins. One of the things that I find with the Brownings, this one hasn't got it. One of the things I find, the top lever is a little bit stiff. But they do ease in, but this top lever is nice and smooth. There's no real bite to it. So yeah, Browning 525, 30 inch, multi-choke, sporting gun. This is in left-handed. We're nearly done, mate. 20 seconds, yeah. Thank you very much, people. Hope you enjoyed the videos. If there's something else you want to see, give us an email. If we've got it in stock, we'll do it. If not, we'll get it. Thank you very much. Bye.